see here, part of my defunctifying my room, part of those missions is to make everything more functional for me. And so I thought I would work on my desk today. And this is how it usually is, except it's a lot cleaner than what it usually is. Usually there's stuff all over the place. But um, to the right, where that blank space is over there, I usually have a whole bunch of idea books or journals that I've made or patterns. or That over there is usually a big mess. But I took everything out of there and I'll go through that. And then there's my spinner thing, spinny thing. And I like that because it holds a lot of um, supplies in there for me. But what I don't like is when I spin it, it's always, if I leave it there where the mat is, it's too close to the wall and it kind of scrapes my wall and I don't like that. And then this here, this um, uh, black drawer thing, I used to take these to crops with me and put, put my supplies in them. But on this desk here, it just keeps, I keep putting stuff in here that I don't know where to put it. So it's just full of a whole bunch of crap actually. I have to go through that. And then this basket here, or this tin bucket, I painted this years ago. That's a Debbie Mum um, pattern, and I just traced it and then painted it on my bucket for all my paper scraps. And then this, this here, that's just all the cards I've made. So I want to have more of my supplies close at hand, where I don't have to keep getting up to get them. And I've been... A few have suggested to put shelves on the wall, but for one thing, I don't want to put any more holes in the wall. So I'm thinking of putting some shelves on my table. That way, if it doesn't work for me and if it's taking up too much space, then I can just, just remove them. So I repurposed a shelf from another room upstairs just to see if I like it. And I will reconfigure my desk and then I'll come back and see if I like it. Okay, so I put up the shelf and I moved my spinny thing a little over so it's not going to scratch the wall. I left the black drawer thing which I really don't even need in here. And now I'm wondering if I should have actually two shelves side by side or these are stackable shelves. I can have one above the other. One thing I like about having the shelves is there's a little bit more display room on top. And I have, oh I don't have them in here with me, but I know of these containers that'll fit perfectly in here. So I can just take the containers out of here. But I do like the flatness at the top that I can put, like I said, display things. But I'm not sure if that's really helping me all that much or if I should have, like I said, a second one. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think that one over. I don't, I don't think this is it, actually. I don't know. I'm happy with it. I think it would work, but I think I could do better. Okay, this is totally different than what I had in mind. I actually removed the shelf and I took these um, drawer units. They used to be in my cupboard on behind my desk and I used to keep my pattern paper in here when I used to sort it by color, but I don't really do that anymore. This, these are full of really old paper, like, like paper from, I don't know, 15 years ago, like really old paper. So I'm not planning on keeping papers in there anymore. I'll remove all the papers from there. I was planning on doing that anyway. And the only thing with this setup is it's not very symmetrical. And I'm anal about stuff like that. And another thing is it is on top of my mat, which is good because it'll keep my mat in place. Um, but I'm wondering if these drawers, pulling out these drawers, they're going to interfere with if I'm working on a layout or a mini book. Every time I pull them out, I have to move everything. One thing I do like about these units is they do take up quite a bit of the desk area, so hopefully I won't fill it and I will clean up my desk after each project. We'll see about that. Who knows about that one? And then my spinny shelf or spinny container is right there. So it's right beside me instead of in front of me. So honestly, I don't even, I don't know if I love this idea. I like the drawers because I can fit a whole bunch of those chocolate containers in there for little goodies, all my little supplies. It has a nice flat top so I can display things, but actually they're kind of bowed. Like this goes down a bit in the center. So they're not totally flat like the shelf was. So I think I can improve on this. So we'll see what I can do. Okay, one thing with these drawers is they are stackable. So I put these two here 
and then I have one over there and my spinny thing is in the middle well that doesn't really work because it's still going to scratch my wall and it's definite it's a little bit more symmetrical but not as much because one is higher than the other and I don't like that so let me just play around with it a little bit more okay I just what I did was I moved my spinny thing up top which is good because when I pull it to the for, forward of that container it um, spins without hitting the wall but it might be too heavy for that drawer unit um, I like the stackable ones I like that and I just put my journaling cards in the center just because it was empty once I did that but I have one other idea so let me try that out okay I think this is finally how I'm gonna have my desk set up I have the stackable shelves over there and then I thought why not have the best of both worlds and have the shelf and the drawers so I have the shelves in front and the drawers on either side and then I have that other set of drawers there and because it wasn't symmetrical <laughs> I put my washi tape that's the the white one that's my washi tape but it's not I thought it was the same exact drawer but it isn't so I'm going to have to not that I have to but <laughs> I'm going to go and see if I can find another drawer unit and transfer my washi tape over because and then put um, the red paper because I had the red paper on it and put the red paper and then I am did some uh, like watermark stamping on the paper I don't know if you can tell but I have it in my room tour video I think from a couple of years ago and then my spinny thing will go there for just to keep on my desk but this unit here down there that unit is um, a roller unit and usually it is underneath my desk like this so when I'm not working that's where it is it's under my desk don't look at the mess don't look at the mess over there <laughs> I haven't gotten over there yet but when I'm working I usually leave it here for more area because I take over area so I thought I could if I want I can put my spinny thing on there when I'm working to move it out of the way and I'm hoping hoping that a little bit less desk space will help me keep more organized or more clean after each individual project because usually my room is a mess and I very rarely like clean up as I go I wait until the projects done and by that time you're losing things underneath papers and supplies and I'm sure I do not have to explain it because I'm sure a lot of you go through the same thing or hopefully go through the same thing so I'm, so I'm not the only one with that problem so that's what I'm hoping will happen will the smaller desk space will hopefully keep me more organized and having my supplies at hand that way if I open up a drawer take something out of it as soon as I'm done with it I can put it back in the drawer instead of I think that's the problem is I'm too lazy to get off my butt get off my chair and put it away so maybe if the supplies are closer at hand then maybe I'll be more up to keeping everything clean at least that's my hopefully that's hopefully what I'm thinking so <clears throat> I might be dreaming here but we'll see so thank you everybody for watching and when I organize the drawers I'll do a more detailed video of that but I just wanted to share with you that yes I am still plugging away I'm still going strong on this um the funkifying my room I did take the summer off because it was well, our summers are so 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 short here but we closed up camp so we're home for weekends now so I'll have more time to dedicate to cleaning up and organizing my scrapbooking room so thank you again everybody for joining me and I hope you all had a very creative day today bye now <music>